We originally showed this piece in Astoria at the Ignite Light Festival. Um, so we're really excited to be able to bring it into Portland too, to show it at Portland Women's Lights Festival as well. The pandemic has definitely prioritized video art in a new way. And uh, we've especially had a unique opportunity to be able to display it and still have people safely gather too. Our practice is uh, creating these sort of immersive environments that people are, can do, it exists within, inside of. We also just want to create a more beautiful world right now and have things for people to be excited about. This event, the Portland Winter Lights Festival, is amazing. They have taken all these empty storefronts, all these lobbies, all these different places, and they have been able to, to fill it with artists, with art. The creation behind me is Brain our cognitive example of our mental health awareness. I think brain kind of shows us a little bit of ourself, you know, that some days are harder, some days we're just not feeling it. It feels very, like, on time. And then also the fact that we have to view it from a window is, a, it's a thing, you know, it's like it feels, it feels different from other art you get to see. So this is kind of cool to like, be in a large space and just view it from a distance and the grandness of it <laughs> is fun to see. It's actually a disco ball that's shaped like a car. It is an actual 69 bug that we uh, gutted everything we could out of it to make it as light as possible. And then we cleaned it up, painted it black, and then started the long, arduous process of gluing mirrors to it. I hope it gives people an opportunity or desire to get out and to interact with, with the city. You know, have an opportunity to, to get off the couch and turn off the television and, um, you know, go out and see art. The hope is that we spark some joy.